What up squad, thanks for clicking on today's vlog. We were about to do a meal prep and I said, you know what, why, why don't we just make a video out of this? I'm in the middle of a cut right now and I haven't been meal prepping. I think we meal prepped last week, the week before last, for the first time in a minute. Yeah. So, I'm getting back to my meal preps. It helps me so much stay focused. And uh, if you're not a member of the Brick Squad, hit the subscribe button right now. And also Brick Squad, press the notification bell joint. I appreciate that. So we're gonna do the meal prep video vlog style because we're really awkward the other way. Yeah, we're, we're, we're awkward, awkward either way. But it just feels more like, maybe because we haven't done it so much. Yeah. What's, what's in that cup? Water. Mm, H2O. That's not water. Let me smell it. That's not water. <gasps> Lush. So here's the deal. One, two, three. When you're meal prepping, I should go this way, the lightning is better. I wanna make this simple as possible. Take into consideration how many calories you are trying to intake, and then also take into consideration how many meals per day that you wanna eat. So let's say you plan to eat three meals a day. Break down your calorie amount into three meals, and that tells you exactly how much food you have to prep. You definitely are going to need a scale. You need a scale. And you also need some measuring devices. And that's it. It's really simple math. Pick a carb, pick a protein, get a bunch of veggies. And I personally like to meal prep for three days at a time. Any longer than that, the food starts getting stale. So, so this is how we're doing. Usually I'll do some sort of chicken, but chicken breast, mm -hmm. but you're tired of chicken breast, so we're doing chicken thighs. Yes. But either one works. All right, so look, here's the deal. Chicken thighs are not the enemy. They are higher in fats. So what I do is I compensate for the extra fat by cutting back on the peanut butter. I'm a big peanut butter fan. So when I prep chicken thighs, no peanut butter. Chicken thighs, broccoli, red potatoes. That's just what we picked this time. So look, I'm gonna pop <coughs> Sorry. I'm gonna pop all the instructions on the screen as we go because she doesn't cook from recipes or anything like that. And we're also using some strange Somebody people's else. kitchen. <laughs> So I don't know about their oven or anything. So yeah, so all the information will be both on the screen and in the description or either or. Something. They'll be up there. Yeah, so while she's doing the chicken and the potatoes. So look, this is, I like red potatoes. Mm -hmm. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna have you put um, foil on here uh -huh. and lay the chicken thighs out okay. while I'm chopping the potatoes. No, I was about to um, prep my breakfast stuff. Oh, okay. If you want to take the guesswork out of eating healthy and support the channel at the same time, head over to BricksFitness.com, grab your custom meal plan. I make them all day. Hey, Bravo. And Gingy. And Ginger. I love you guys so much. Y'all get out the kitchen while we're cooking. I only eat two meals per day. <laughs> Breakfast around one, two o'clock. Dinner around six or seven o'clock. So my breakfast, 90% of the time is oatmeal, with egg whites and protein powder. So what I'm gonna do is, to make things simple, to make my life very easy, I'm gonna prep all my servings in Ziploc bags. They're called oatmeal kits. Can we make that up? That's probably a teaspoon. Mrs. Dash. We always use Mrs. Dash. And that's salt free, right? Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with salt if you don't overdo yeah, yeah. it. Because I, I actually put salt in here too, but yeah, this is just onion, black pepper, parsley, bay leaves, oregano. There's not really too much in this, but yeah, but then I take, I do my own salt. That helps. You gotta do the salt like, like the guy who does. Yeah, you gotta do it like that. You love Old Bay, but Old Bay has a lot of sodium in it. It absolutely does. And but I it has zero. I do retaining water like a mug. It has zero calories, so I'm not, I'm only gonna do half of it. Okay. And I'm only gonna do a little bit. But Man, I love Old Bay. I love Old Bay. Is so Old good. Bay. 
So only half. Then you can kind of have two styles of potatoes, you know? There you go. That works. Look, I just went and go see Pablo. He gave me the hook up. Oh, Pablo. Nah, all right, so look, I got my oats prepared. This is for three days. This is my oatmeal. This is my protein and my trivia. And I usually bring liquid egg whites and I keep that at my office. Simple, easy. What's this with it? It's a chicken nugget. <laughs> <laughs> Salt, pepper, and I'll do half of them with this and half of them with this. So that's Mrs. Dash and Old, Old Bay. Bay again. Okay. Okay, for real, I, I see people season with salt and pepper and they go, I like broke that. That's nothing. So she may be white, but she seasons like a black person. Like, I'm just gonna put a little salt, a little salt, <laughs> and then, then I'm just gonna, they go like this for the whole thing. And some salt, then that's it. You know you can't taste that. Hell no. Ooh, that's how you season it right there. And then I'll do this for your. That's how you do it. Let me see. The whole you... cap almost came off. You know what that would look like? No bueno. Yeah. That's so how you see it. So here's the thing. You don't use salt anywhere else. I don't yeah. think you have salt because you only eat oatmeal. Mm -hmm. Um. So really, this is all the salt in my diet is 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 in my my this protein. My, yeah. My uh, yeah. I'm so tired of eating chicken breasts. Yeah, we do it a lot. Even though I make, we make it a bunch of different ways, but it's still the same. Like. Yo, no more chicken breasts. I think I want to take at least a six month break from well, chicken breasts. Well, I think you don't. I, you say that and then probably next week you'll be like, can we have some chicken breasts? No, no, I promise I will never ask for chicken breasts again. I'm trying to minimize time here. Green giant frozen veggies is what we're using this time. I typically like fresh veggies, but don't get it twisted. There are times where we use the frozen. So usually, yeah, okay. What the, what the? Don't sneeze on my okay. food. Okay, <clears throat> usually I will get fresh veggies and I'll cut it up and I'll steam it in the pan. Mm -hmm. But this time I'm gonna do frozen. So I'm gonna microwave it for a little bit of the time, like five minutes. Then I'm gonna pep it up by throwing it in the pan and getting the little like grilled charcoal spots on it. You know what I mean? Yep. The little crispy spot. Red potatoes are my favorite. Yeah, oh absolutely. my God, red potatoes. I need to show you. So if you go to cut it through, your fork's supposed to mush in them, but if it chops quick, it's not done. Okay, well, they're still my favorite. Not done. Okay, so these have been in for 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. And you can check them. But here's a trick. If you squeeze chicken and the juices are clear then it's done but if the juices still have red in it definitely not done the potatoes have been in 10 more minutes so let's see those are done too nice we're done Boom, my meal prep is complete. Three meals. These are my dinner meals. These are my breakfast meals. And I, and I, knew, and I normally will have about a four to 500 calorie snack in the middle of the day. Sometimes that's rice cake and peanut butter, a protein bar, sometimes some fruit, something. It's me. Oh, sometimes it's her. Comment below if you have any video requests Shout out to the Brick Squad. I love you guys. Shout uh, out to my squad. Shout out to her squad. And as always, guys, we're just trying to share the wellness. So get well, get money.